Welcome to the significance of the mesolimbic tract. In the mesolimbic tract, we will focus on that component of the tract which we had mentioned starts from the ventral tegmental area and goes to the nucleus accumbens. Now, the nucleus accumbens has got rich number of D2 receptors, dopamine 2 receptors, and it needs dopaminergic projections from here. And that has got plenty of clinical significance, clinical implications. The first one of that is the circuit. This mesolimbic pathway from the nucleus accumbens, from the ventral tegmental area to the nucleus accumbens, it is normally inhibited. This pathway is normally inhibited by yet one more projection, and that is from the PFC. This PFC normally keeps this under inhibition. So what happens is if there's a lesion of the PFC, prefrontal cortex, due to any, any re reason, this prefrontal cortex cannot inhibit the mesolimbic pathway and therefore the mesolimbic pathway gets what is known as disinhibited. And this disinhibition results in what is known as the positive symptoms of schizophrenia. So here we see a different situation. Disinhibition of the mesolimbic pathway produces positive symptoms of schizophrenia, while inhibition of the mesocortical pathway, which we had mentioned earlier, had produced negative symptoms of schizophrenia. So let's come back to this positive symptoms of schizophrenia. Disinhibition of the mesolimbic tract by a lesion of the PFC produces positive symptoms of schizophrenia and therefore one of the methods of treatment of the positive skin symptoms of schizophrenia is to, st is to stimulate, uh, to, is to prevent dopamine release from the ventral tegmental area to the nucleus accumbens by giving dopamine D2 blockers. So therefore that is another method of treatment of positive symptoms of schizophrenia and that is to block the nucleus accumbens dopamine D2 receptors by means of D2 blockers so that the positive symptoms of schizophrenia are relieved.